Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be discussing the scariest things ever lost by humans, as explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. It would be reasonable to expect that all our weapons of mass destruction would be so carefully guarded that there could be no chance of ever misplacing them. But in believing this, you would be extremely, terrifyingly wrong. Nukes, for example. It's believed that around 50 nuclear weapons were lost worldwide just during the Cold War. America has admitted to losing at least 11 of those, seven of them on American soil. There's still a nuclear bomb submerged in a swamp in North Carolina right now that's been ticking away in there since 1961, and no one can get it out. Holy fu- How did that happen? In most cases, it involved a bomber crashing or malfunctioning. Remember, planes carrying nukes were in the air almost constantly during the Cold War, and accidents during in-air refueling were common. But bombs were lost in other ways, too. Both the Americans and the Russians lost submarines carrying nukes in the North Atlantic Ocean. The Soviet Komsomolis sank in 1989, while the USS Scorpion went down over 20 years earlier in 1968. Just three years before that, a fighter bomber carrying a nuclear weapon actually fell off the side of an aircraft carrier and sank without trace. Well, that's just careless. That's nothing compared to some of the chemical weapon stashes out there. At the end of World War II, America confiscated huge amounts of unpleasant hardware from the Germans without any real plan for disposing of it. The brilliant solution was to bury it, once again on American soil. There are at least 249 secret chemical weapon dumps around the United States, but the largest is just outside Huntsville, Alabama, a town of 200,000 people. This site hides 17 trenches, each one six miles long and stuffed with a horrifying mix of Nazi nerve gas, mustard gas, blistering agents, chlorine gas, and incendiary bombs. This is freaking me right the hell out. There's more. The US also dumped 72 separate loads of chemical weapons into oceans around the world before Congress banned the practice in 1972. It was often done by a method known as CHASE, which stood, believe it or not, for cut holes and sink them. Essentially, an old ship would be filled with chemical weapons and then scuttled. Worst of all, this stash includes at least 124 tons of VX gas, the single most lethal and terrible nerve agent ever invented. And it's all currently sitting on the seabed somewhere off the coast of New Jersey. At least all the biological weapons are secure, um, right? Mostly, although samples of both anthrax and Ebola went missing from the Fort Detrick lab in Maryland in the early 90s and Galveston National Laboratory lost samples of its lethal hemorrhagic fever virus in 2013. Why are these all American things? Surely other countries have lost stuff too. They surely have, but we don't know that much about them. We do know the Russians accidentally let a sample of anthrax out of a bioweapons lab back in 1979, killing at least 105 people. But we don't know many concrete details because all the evidence around the incident was destroyed by the KGB. We really have no idea how much of this stuff is out there. We're basically sitting on a giant, disease-ridden powder keg, aren't we? Pretty much. Have a nice day. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.